What's up guys, it's Zane here, and welcome to my first Alonic guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at Glacors. Now later on down the road, we're going to be going into 1 to 99 guides and a couple other harder PVMing bosses slash monsters. So why should you go to Glacors? First off, it provides the top tier boots, uh, the Armadale Battle Staff, uh, pretty common effigies and pretty common elite clue scrolls at the same time. Not only that, but there's little to few requirements to actually go to Glacors, making it great for new players. Now, when I say requirements, these are the preferred things you have to optimize the kills per hour. First off, I suggest 92 prayer for soul split, 99 magic or 99 melee stats to be able to actually hit them, 99 HP just to make sure that you don't die, 96 herb lore for overload so you really start hitting a lot more, and 88 summoning for the unicorn which will allow you to actually heal yourself without food. Now the loots from Glacors include the Steadfast Boots, the Ragefire Boots, the Glaven Boots, Shards of Armadale which can be turned into the Armadale Battle Staff, the Effigies, and the Elite Clue Scrolls which make it pretty good money making methods indeed. Now to make a Armadale Battle Staff you need 100 Shards of Armadale which creates an orb and then you can create an Armadale Battle Staff because I know a couple of you guys don't know that. Now, how do you actually get to Glacors? All you need to do is go click on the wizard in Edgeville and then pick the Glacor Cave. There's no actual requirements or quests or anything like that to actually access them. Now, moving right along, we're going to be talking a lot about uh, setups. Now, I'm only going to be showing the two main setups, the optimized, optimal melee and mage setups. However, you know, you can pick and choose what you actually want. So if you don't have Bandos, if you don't have Steadfast, use Dragon Boots, use Rune Armor or Barrow's Armor, whatever you have. Perhaps you don't have a Rapier, use a Whip. Now, with the melee setup, I do suggest at least having Soul Split, because if you don't have Soul Split, you're not going to be able to get that many kills per hour. At least have, you know, a Rapier, Soul Split, Summoning, you know, one of those three things, so you can at least get a couple extra kills, because, you know, these all go together. So, as you can see here, from me killing the Glacor, the Rapier hits really accurately and really quickly, which goes right along with Soul Split because it pretty much keeps you at 99 HP the whole time. This makes it incredibly safe indeed because you have such a high defense bonus, your weapon is so accurate, and you heal from your weapon itself that you pretty much don't you know, really lower your HP that much at all. Especially if you have a unicorn, you really don't have any actual need for food at all either because you can just heal yourself with your unicorn. So really, you know, pick and choose and, you know, figure out whatever works best for you. Now for the mage setup, this is my preferred method. We're going to be using fire spells. Of course you can use the Armadale Storm, but I personally suggest the fire spells. Now, what's awesome about the mage setup is you're going to be hitting really hard. Even if you only have Mystic, you can still hit upwards to 60s to 70s. If you have the gear I have right now, like the Arcane Stream, the Chaotix, things of that nature, you can hit upwards of 100. Now, I do suggest still using Soul Split because the thing about having this mage armor is your defense is really quite low indeed. So they're actually going to be hitting you a lot more often than they do if you were wearing the melee gear. However, you're going to be hitting so hard with your spells, upwards of 70s to 100s, that you're actually going to pretty much even out because you're going to be healing by so much. However, with the mage setup, it's definitely more dangerous, so I do suggest watching your computer a lot more than if you're using the melee setup, for instance. Now, it's pretty simple. You don't have to bring too much food, you know, maybe one or two food. Now, let's talk about summoning familiars. You might not have a unicorn. If you don't have a unicorn, you can use a bunyip. They work almost just as well. And perhaps you want to use a BOB familiar instead. You know, maybe bring a couple extra potions or food or maybe just that extra little inventory space. Pretty much, you can use the Bull Ant, which I believe is around 42 summoning, the War Tortoise, which is around 67 summoning, and finally, the best of the best, the Pack Yak, which is around, I believe, 96 summoning. So, you know, pick and choose, figure out whatever works best for you. That's really what this guide's all about. Uh, you know, optimize it. If you don't have Arams, use Mystic. If you got Virtus, use Virtus. 
whatever you got. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little guide. If you did, you can hit that like button and comment below on what other guides you want to see in the future. If you have anything to nitpick about this guide, you know, maybe you'd like to see a more in-depth review of uh, something specific, please comment below because I want to see what the Elonic players themselves like to see in a guide. I've done a lot more guides for another server, PK Honor, and I figured out what they like in a guide. However, you know, people on Elotic might be a little bit different. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to see more. Goodbye. Someone told me there's a girl out there with love in her eyes and flowers.